Welcome back to NCRT class 10th chapter number 12 electricity. Children, in the previous video, we learned how to solve problems on resistance and resistivity. I hope children, you might have felt there is felt difficulty in solving that. But children, keep practicing. That is solve once and twice. Definitely, it will become easier to you. Because the great saying is there, practice makes man perfect. So children, in order to become these problem easy means you have to try again and again. So children, what you will do you have to do more practice based upon the electricity chapter problems okay now in today's class we will discuss about combination of resistors children up to now we have studied a uh, what simple electrical circuits means a conducting wire will be there and a battery plug key voltmeter has connected and we, such a simple electric circuits up to now we have studied but in today's topic we are going to study about combination of resistors it means that you know children the general meaning of a combination of resistors means when two or more resistors are connected or joined together and the pattern is called what here combination of resistor you know children in various electronic gadgets or electronical components we need to make a what combination of a resistors so there is a need to study about the what combination of a resistors so children Generally, the combination of resistors are of two types. One is series combination. The second one is parallel combination. What is the meaning of a series combination and parallel combination? You know, children, when number of resistors means two to more, isn't it? Two to more number of resistors are connected side by side, isn't it, children? Suppose if one chalk piece is there, means uh, side to it if it has joined means this is called as a series pattern children the same thing happens in the resistors also if one resistor is here and the second one has connected side to it and third and side to it means this pattern side by side is called what children series side by side combination is called what series combination isn't it children it forms a, a horizontal line isn't it children such a pattern such a combination is called what series combination so let us have a look over here children when number of resistors are connected side by side who is having a resistance say r1 r2 r3 using a battery then plug key and an armature isn't it children then this type of a combination is called what series combination see children here first resistor is connected to side to the second resistor and similarly the second resistor have connected side to it only what the third resistor side by side joining is called what here series combination okay children the concept is clear series means the resistor should be connected side by side isn't it such that they should form a horizontal line Okay, now what is mean by parallel combination? If two or more number of resistors are connected down by down in the form of a ladder children, isn't it? If one resistor is up is there, the second resistor down and the next one is at still down means such a pattern, such a combination is called what? Parallel combination. The parallel combination is nothing but a children here. Ladder like structure. You know the steps of the ladder how it will be down by down. The same thing happens here. Isn't it children? Okay. Now let us have a look of a parallel combination. That is if say R1, R2, R3 or resistances of a resistors say 3 resistors are connected parallel using a old meter, meter, plug key and a battery. Such a type of a combination is called what? Parallel combination. It means that the in the parallel combination the resistor should be down by down. Isn't 
and the children. How they should be? They should be down by down. Say this is R1, R2 and R3. Isn't it? Down by down is called what children? Parallel combination. You can write here. What means? Easy to remember. Isn't it? Down by down. These are all things you have to write in a running notes, children, because it will help you definitely. Isn't it, children? Okay. Got it, children? The ideas of uh, how the series combination will be under parallel combination looks like? Yes. Once again, I'll repeat. No problem. Series combination means if number of resistors are connected side by side. Then such a combination is called series combination and suppose if number of resistors are connected down by down then such a combination is called what? Parallel combination. Easy to remember is what children? Series means side by side. Parallel means down by down. Got it children? And one more also is there children because while solving the problems we will come across with that. Now, that is what? There is a complex combination we will say. It means in a one combination, both series and a parallel pattern is there. Means such a combination is called as a complex combination. Okay, children, that we will discuss in detail about afterwards. Now come back here. Got it, children? How series that is combination and parallel combination? Okay, now we will see what is the resistance of series now let us study about resistors in series means when resistors or different resistors means many resistors are connected in a series what happens to the value of a current and also what is their equivalent resistance we are going to learn under this topic children okay children this can be easily understand by making a simple activity children see here uh, let us join three resistors say R1 and R2 and R3 are connected in series means side by side using a battery then plug key then ammeter and a voltmeter isn't children what is this it's a just a series combination which have contained three resistors isn't it each of one of them have a um, you can take any assumption values one ohm two ohm or three ohm like that now what we have to do means we need to calculate that is what is the value of a current isn't it and also their equivalent resistance isn't it we want to know these two so what we have to do we need to connect the ammeter at different positions children at different places we need to connect the ammeter reading isn't it children why we need to connect you know because ammeter will give us as the measurement of a current which is flowing in the circuit children so what we need to do now first initially what we did we have connected them all in series pattern after that we have to plug the key and note down the ammeter reading isn't it children say it have given when we recorded i is what 10 amperes across this entire circuit isn't it children now at the next step we have to change the position of a ammeter we need to place this ammeter anywhere in the circuit let us take here that is i have placed here that is across the first resistor and have noted isn't it children the current value gives us some isn't it then next at the third case Isn't it? And again, by doing so, means by changing the positions of the ammeter, we are going to record what? Current I value. It has experimentally found that children, here also what? 10 amperes. This is just an assumption value children. It means that the meaning is simple children here. The <coughs> sorry, the flow of a current in the series combination is independent of the position. It means that when you measure the presence of a current across the series combination, same current is flowing through the entire circuit. It means that 
I said that 10 ampere of a current is flowing here, isn't it? So the same 10 ampere will flows across the first resistor and across the second resistor also 10 amperes of a current is flowing and across the third also 10 amperes of a current is flowing. And if you measure anywhere by placing the ammeter across the circuit, the value of a current is same which is independent of a position. So what we have concluded children? Same current flows, isn't it children? So now let us find out what is its potential difference. So children, let us make that is a for voltmeter if I connect it across the first resistor. Isn't it children? Suppose if the voltmeter has connected across the first resistor, what is its potential difference? Suppose uh, if the voltmeter is connected across the entire circuit, then its value is what? The potential difference of the entire uh, circuit is what? Let V be the potential difference across the entire circuit isn't it children and now we are placing the voltmeter across the first resistor isn't it and it is giving around value v1 meter across the second resistor so what it gives across the second resistor say v2 and similarly for third resistor also we need to calculate the voltmeter reading and it gives what around V3. So, V1, V2, V3 are the individual potential dif uh, differences. It means that the entire potential difference across the circuit is equal to sum of individual uh, potential differences that can be written as V is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Got it children? So, the V is the entire potential difference means the total potential difference across the circuit is equal to what the sum of individual the potential difference of resistors. So now suppose if current I flows through the circuit entire circuit say I is the current and R is what resistance isn't it across the entire circuit I is what current R is what resistance so now if we apply Ohm's law to this equation say this is equation number one applying Ohm's law what it becomes children V is equals to IR this is how it came because of Ohm's law so now apply the ohm's law for first resistor second resistor and third resistor also then what it becomes v1 is equals to i r1 see children we are taking same i because the same current is flowing we are not writing i1 this you have to understand here the resistance might be changed so we have taken as it is what the entire current <coughs> sorry then v2 is equals to i r2 then v3 is equals to what i r3 so now if we uh, substitute all these values in the equation one let us apply ohm's law for the uh, equation one so V is nothing but a I into R means the total current into resistance is nothing but a here the potential difference across the entire circuit. So similarly our, we need to apply Ohm's law for individual resistors and it has obtained what V1 is equals to I into R1 and V2 is equals to I into R2 V3 is equals to I into R3. Now substitute all these in the first equation children. What is V? V is nothing but a i into r shall we write because i r is nothing but a v so we have substituted on substituting 
in equation one isn't it children we will find what i into r and similarly what is the v1 value i into r1 i into r1 plus what is the v2 value i into r2 plus what is the v3 value i into r3 isn't it children this is what on substituting means ohm's law means applying ohm's law for each and every resistor we will get these values now take out the common terms from these children i r can be written as i into r that is common term i is there so we have taken it outside so what has remained r1 plus r2 plus r3 isn't it children because i into r1 means the same i into r2 means same i into r3 also means same now do cancellation of this same terms children what has remained r is equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 so the total resistance isn't it it is often represented as a rs when we discuss about series means the total or f effective resistance isn't it the total equivalent resistance or effective resistance in series is equal to sum of individual resistances got it children the meaning is simple children the entire resistance in the series is going to be one dividing across each resistor so we have what the uh, if total resistance is equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 suppose if n number of resistors are connected then the general formula how we will write children then the general formula will write rs is equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus so on up to n so uh, if n number of resistors are connected means we have to use the formula n into r where n is nothing but a number of resistors or is nothing but a resistance got it children suppose if they have asked while solving the problems you may get questions that is uh, of this type so you will please remember this also children when number n number of resistors are connected means the formula is simple rs is equals to or the total resistance equivalent resistance is equals to n into r got it children yes on C in series uh, what is their equivalent resistance children the total resistance will be equal to sum of individual resistance got it children? children now let us solve problems based on series combination children the formula you have to remember while solving these is children or uh, equivalent resistance rs is equals to what is that r1 plus r2 plus r3 this is what equivalent resistance in series using that formula we have to solve this let us read the question children if four resistances each of value 1 ohm are connected in series what will be the resultant resistance resultant here resultant means effective isn't it or equivalent equivalent resistance they are asking each of the resistor for example uh, if say this is resistor 1 this is resistor 2 and resistor 3 and this is what resistor 4 such that these four resistors are connected in series and each one of them how much they have children 1 ohm each this is 1 ohm this is also 1 ohm this is also 1 ohm so what they have asked calculate rs across this circuit okay children let us solve these what are the given data children r1 is equals to 1 ohm r2 is equals to 1 ohm r3 is equals to 1 ohm similarly what r4 is equals to 1 ohm now use the formula using formula 
R S is equals to R one plus R two plus R three plus R four. Isn't it, children? Now substitute. Substitute. Upon this, what is that? R S is equals to one ohm plus one ohm plus one ohm plus one ohm. Isn't it, children? Which is nothing but a four ohms. So the equivalent resistance or the resultant resistance across this circuit is what four ohms, children. This is a very simple, children. Why I am showing means definitely it will help you to try the difficulty one. Got it, children? Okay. Let's try second one. That is a resistance of six ohm is connected in series with another resistance of four ohm. Means the one resistor is going to connect with the another resistor in series pattern, children, and which have a potential difference twenty volt is applied across the combination. It means that one resistor and this is what second resistor. The first resistor's resistance is how much, children? Six ohm. This six ohm resistor has connected with four ohms resistor. Such that it have a how much potential difference, children? B is equals to twenty volts. So if this is the equation, they asked us to calculate the current through the circuit. Means across this circuit, what is the current value? The first part of this question is we need to calculate the current here, and still they have asked that. um calculate the current through the circuit and potential difference across the 6 ohm resistance means across this resistance we need to calculate what what is the value of a current and potential difference so children before um, solving this let us recall the concepts in a series combination what will be the same children the same current will flows isn't it so what we need to first do children we have to calculate the equivalent resistance across this combination <coughs> sorry and with that help we need to find out the current value the same current value will be used for 6 ohm resistor isn't it children okay the first Isn't it first part of the question? What it is, children? The given data is what? Say R one is six ohm, and R two is how much, children? Four ohm, and the potential difference is what across that twenty volts. Isn't it, children? This is what given data, and what we need to calculate now. I is equals to how much means through the entire circuit. What is the flow of a current? We need to know. Before doing that, let us calculate the equivalent resistance R S. This is series pattern, no? R S. Let us take R S is nothing but how many resistors used, children? Here two. So R one plus R two is our equivalent resistance. So this can be written as R S is equals to what is R one, children? Six ohms plus four ohms. Nothing but a ten ohms is the equivalent resistance. So this equivalent resistance we need to substitute in ohms law. That is from ohms law. What we have, children? V is equals to I into R. Nothing but in terms of a current, how we will write? I is equals to V by R. We can write. Now substitute the values. We will get I as it is. What is the V value, children? Twenty volts divided by R means equivalent resistance here. R S is how much? Ten. So what is the value? I is equals to ten ones are ten twos are. So what is that? Two amperes of a current is flowing across the entire circuit. Children, do you remember? 
um, the same current in case of a series same current will flows through individual resistors what up to now this is here one part we have completed now here now calculate the current through the circuit and potential difference across the six ohms means we need to calculate the current across this particular resistor so do you remember children in series the same current is flowing so no need of for calculating i value so because we have already calculated that so let us in the second part what are the given things uh, resistance r is equals to 6 ohm because they have particularly asked to calculate the potential difference across the first resistor isn't it children so r is equals to 6 ohms and what is the current value 2 amperes because it is a series combination so same current is flowing and we need to calculate the potential difference is how much isn't it children from ohms law from ohms law we have v is equals to i into r so we keep it as it is i is nothing but a 2 and r is nothing but a how much will run 6 2 amperes and 6 ohms which is nothing but a 12 volts so we can write that the 12 volts is the potential difference across the first combination isn't it children Thank you.